What's going on guys? Back in Monte video and today we're going to be doing another Airbnb experience. We had such a great one doing the Tango experience in Buenos Aires that we had to try it again. We made a great friend in Buenos Aires, had a great experience and learned some Tango. So now we're going to have a local show us around the old town. Yeah, so we found this again on Airbnb experiences and it's a local who just as Max said is going to show us around the old town so we're meeting him right in the center and then he takes us to a bunch of different historical spots, architectural spots, everywhere for about three hours is how long the tour is supposed to last. So we're excited to get there and we'll let you know how it goes. So guys, we're now en route. It's about an eight minute drive from Punta Carretas where we're currently staying at uh, to get over to the old town. It's about a six dollar Uber ride, so pretty quick to get over there. And uh, we'll arrive just like one or two minutes late from when we're supposed to arrive at 5 p.m. tonight to start the three hour tour. All right guys, so we just arrived down here with Guzman. He is gonna be our guide for the next three hours. Hello. From Punta del Este and he knows Montevideo currently a Tomorrow surfing. Here. Tomorrow surfing in Punta del Este. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and explore. The, the door, the door city. Okay. The, the, we have an ima imagination, imagine. Yeah. But the wall not exist, not exist. Yeah. But in mm -hmm. the, uh, the time, the colony time, the, around the old city is a wall. Okay. The building uh, Art Nouveau is very, very beautiful. Now it's a library. <laughs> bravo, bravo! Ta tango side, uh, uh, font, and in the front, the uh, first uh, cathedral in Montevideo. The name of the cathedral is Matriz Cathedral. The, the same, the name, yeah. the square, and, and cathedral. Yeah. The Spanish, the Spanish is uh, the, fir the first invasion in Spanish. 1906, the core. Oh, wow, the, yeah. It's a Spanish empire. Wow. Yes. Wow. Looks heavy. <laughs> would, you, would you wear that in your hair? Yeah. When I thought I got a wall. Yeah. This now is an independence square. Wow. But the door is independence square. Now the door is this point. Yeah. Okay, you understand? Yeah. Uh, Cabildo. Uh, Cabildo. We, we are here, okay? And the middle is uh, Matrix Square and Cathedral. Wow. The, the other place in Montevideo, the name is the El Prado Town. This, this house is the very important families. Gauchos. Oh, wow. Yes. This is a mate. Mate is the typical drink. Yeah. Mate, yeah. No. Well, Uruguayan board, this position. But in the street, you, you can see the people with uh, mate, in termo y mate. Yeah. This is a mate. Why is my friend? I say, tomamos unos mate. Art, to repeat, tomamos. Tomamos. Unos mate. Tomamos unos mate. This is a language, charrua language. No, it's uh -huh. Spanish. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dialect yeah. My, uh, with my friends. Oh, cool, okay. Yes. Wow. The name is China. China. China, yes. This is a, a new representation, artistic. Uh, similar Simpsons. Simpsons, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she drinks, uh, drinks mate. Mate. Yeah, yeah. Tomamos una mate. Get her a mate. <laughs> With her friends in the round. Yeah. The first in drink is the, uh, the they have the, bot the bottle, okay? Mm -hmm. And after in the uh, right, around, oh, okay. in the first in the right. The first mate yeah. is for me. Yeah. It's a respect. School o uh, Escuela del Arte. You read Escuela del Arte y Artesanía, Dr. Yeah. Pedro Figari. I student here. We're here at a pretty unique time. Next week they're going to be re-electing their president. We found out a few fun facts that in Uruguay you legally are required to vote, so there is no option. You have to vote. Which is kind of cool, then I guess it forces probably more people to learn about the politics here. What was the other cool fact? They only serve one term, so they can only serve one term of five years. So unlike in the United States, where you can serve two terms of four years, they can only serve one term of five years. You see, this is one of the parties right here. Vale, muchas gracias. 
and then he's got another party. We haven't seen their flags though. The next president is his party. Ah, ah this the, is the, his. This is yours. No, no. White, no. Pa white party, Frente Amplio, and the three party is a Colorado. Yes, uh -huh. it's a history party. It's the most, most important party. It's a, he, uh, there is a, the, a lot of presidents, the similar Republicans. Uh, younger communist. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> that right there was a look into the Uruguayan fan club right here. They're watching right out here on the street a TV there. Pretty cool to see that. Okay. Uruguay land of the champion for the, the soccer. Yes. Joamo mi barrio in Montevideo. Vamos. Vamos arriba. Orri Uruguay nomás. And like central areas everywhere? Central, yeah. uh, yes. Well, this is square, the name is Zavala. Zavala is, uh, was uh, the founded Montevideo. His, the name is Bruno de Zavala, born in Spanish, in Spain. This uh, the square, the name's Bruno de Zavala, and monument, Bruno de Zavala. Ahora vamos a tomar una cerveza con mis amigos de Washington. <laughs> Bien? You got that? Sí. Ready? Let's hear it. Vamos a tomar una cerveza. <laughs> sí. Vamos, vamos a Río Uruguay. Vamos a Río Uruguay. Nosotros acá en Uruguay decimos vamos a Río Uruguay. Y cuando no podemos tomar una cerveza, tomamos unos mate, unos matecitos, unos, matu, unos matucitos. <laughs> This house pertenece a the rich family. Uh, the name is uh, Palacio Taranco o the Museum de Arts. Uh, the, co the artes decorativas. It's very, very beautiful. Has a beautiful place, beautiful flowers and tree. Yeah. It's, um, I say, it's a little Versailles, a little Versailles in France. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a style Gre like Greco, Grace, Grace style and Roman style. It's a beautiful building. Yeah. Yes. En este solar nació el 19 de junio de 1764 el prócer de la Nación Oriental, José Gervasio Artiga. In this place, born uh, the most hero, the Uruguay, born 19 June 1964 in this place. Is the most hero in Uruguay, wow. José Gervasio Artigas. Uh, the Finnish, the, the old city, has uh, the most important restaurant, El Mercado del Puerto. You can eat in the, most, the best barbecue beef, asado, el mejor asado del mundo, lo tiene Uruguay. No lo tiene Argentina, no lo tiene Brasil, no lo tiene Chile, no lo tiene ningún país de Sudamérica. Lo tiene Uruguay, el país más pequeñito de América, pero el país donde tenés todo. Asado, dulce de leche, fútbol, tango, candombe, y bueno, las personas más lindas también. That translation means Uruguay is the best at everything. Whether it's tango, soccer, asados, or any of them. It is the best of the best. Got a couple pugs running around. Uruguay uh, now is the, the, the represented uh, the bigger, the big, but half, yeah. half, okay. Yeah. Vamos a tomar una cerveza, vecino. Por supuesto. Soy vecino, acá. Pretty good. What kind did you get? Completely wrong. This is blonde. <laughs> Want to try some? This is about as far as I know. Nice and refreshing. So guys, we just got back to our Airbnb after an awesome tour with our amazing host, Guzman, who we met up with around 5 p.m. and he showed us around the city of Montevideo, but specifically in the Old Town. And he did a great job like explaining everything in detail, like the history, the politics. A little bit different for us, because I'll say that like personally, we usually don't spend too much time on politics and history. It was really cool hearing it from the Uruguayan perspective. And three hours doing that, Uh, through the Airbnb experiences, ran us about 14 US dollars per person and then plus a tip because he did such a great job. So after the tour, Guzman actually invited us to his house and offered to make us mate, the Uruguayan tea that they all drink here. But unfortunately, he did not have his keys. His girlfriend had his keys at the moment, so we weren't able to do that. But instead, he took us to one of his favorite local beer spots where we grabbed a beer and we actually were able to meet a couple of his friends who 
were all so welcoming. We all just sat around, chatted about anything and everything. And one thing that's really cool that we've noticed about the Uruguayan culture is, and even in Argentina and Buenos Aires, is the sharing aspect. So I think it comes from the mata, the tea, that you typically take a sip and then you pass it around to everyone in the circle to share with. And they did the same thing with beers at this bar we were at. It's At first it can be a little disconcerting, I feel like maybe just to Americans or North Americans, but you know, typically you, you don't share without, you know, if, especially if it's with people you don't know, but here it's just part of the culture. You just take a sip, you share, it's very casual, and it's a really cool feel. So it was a really just overall an incredible experience. We got the history and a tour of the old town of Montevideo. And then we had a beer with some locals, shared all around and really, really enjoyed our time. So guys, that wraps up our video exploring the old town. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. It was a little bit different than our usual vlogs, as I mentioned, but it was cool to see it from a local's perspective. This is another win for the Airbnb experience. This is the second one we've done in a week now, and I have a feeling that in every city we go, we're gonna go ahead and try and do one of these, because literally we walk away learning so much more than we normally would just exploring ourselves. We usually make new friends, and we have a lot of fun. So looking forward to sharing more of these types of experiences with you guys. And we're gonna be exploring a little bit more of Monte video over the next day or two until we head out to Punta del Este. So guys, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.